What's going on fam? How you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a beautiful blessed day. Joey Official is back on your screen and tonight we got a special video. Fam, tonight's video is going to be definitely weird. Uh, I don't want to get right into it but I did some shopping and I want to show you guys what I bought before I can tell you what really happened. So guys, I want to show you guys what I bought from a museum today uh, and then I'll get into the video because it's going to get very weird very quickly. Smash the like button. So uh, first and foremost, what I have in my hands is my favorite movie. Uh, let me show you guys. Check that out. It's like a release. Like it, it was like the release date billboard. It's framed. I bought this. You know, very special to me. And I also bought a vintage haunted magazine, if that makes sense. This is a vintage haunted magazine. 40 cents. I didn't pay 40 cents, that's for sure. But can you imagine, like these comic books were going for 40 cents? I don't even know what year this is. November 23, April. What year though? Give me a year. Well, there's no year on it. But uh, uh, it's by DC. A very well known comics, comic brand. Should I open it? I know you guys are wondering how much I paid. It wasn't that expensive. That is cool, super cool. Anyways, I'm gonna set this back down. Oh, and I paid like 48 bucks, 50 bucks for this, but yeah. Let me set it down. Now, uh, the real reason why I picked up my camera and decided to uh, make an actual video, I usually don't make videos on like Monday nights. My video nights are uh, Saturday night, Sunday night. But today, after dinner, uh, I received a package. Uh, I'm not going to show you the package, but I'll show you what's inside the package. I was eating dinner, minding my own business, watching YouTube myself, and my wife handed me uh, like a big orange envelope, which I have over there. I'm not going to show you because there's some weird stuff on the front, the back, and everywhere. I can't. I got to blur the whole thing out. Uh, very weird whatever this is whoever that sent this has my address and knows exactly where i live which is kind of freaky but uh yeah uh, there is a coordinates that was uh put inside the envelope and uh not only was there a coordinates that came in the envelope but a weird image was also in the envelope. I'm going to show you that image now. Uh, super weird, super freaky, super scary. Uh, I'm going to go grab the picture right now. So fam, what I have in my hands uh, is an image. This is an image chopped in half. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah, because I myself freak the hell out. Look how freaky this is. Somebody sent me this. What does this mean? picture there's three adults and two four six eight ten, 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. 11 children and 3 adults. That's 14 people in a very historic picture. Now, this could be, I don't know what this can be, but when I see an old photo, it's probably early 1900s, 1930s, 1940s, maybe 1950s, but I think a lot older than that. So this is the frame, and the actual, it's like a, it's like a real picture. I don't know if you get, I don't want to take the picture out, but it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's like a legit paper. It's not like a printout, you know, that's what I'm trying to get at. It's not a printout. The frame has a name, but I can't read it because it's super dark. Anyways, I wonder if I rip it off the frame. It'll tell me a year. Uh, but this is, this is where the story just begins. There is a coordinate. I don't know what that coordinate is, uh, but I do have the coordinates. And tonight, I plan on, <sighs> it's freaking me out, just saying it. I plan on uh, putting that coordinates in and going to wherever that coordinates take me, takes me to. I will take the picture with me. I'm freaked out by the way. This never happens to me. No one knows my address besides my barber shop, but this was delivered to my home where I live with my wife. This was not delivered to uh, my barber shop, which I'm sure most of you guys know that I own a barber shop. Uh, this was delivered to my house. My house. Yeah, that's pretty freaky to me. So tonight we're gonna get to the bottom of this. And uh, if you're watching and you sent this to me and there's some weird little games going on, don't do this. Uh, if you guys wanna send me some weird haunted items like dolls, creepy things, sure. Send it to my barber shop, 12443 Burbank Boulevard in Valley Village, California. Don't send nothing like this to my house with the coordinates that's gonna lead me to find something else. But since this is the first time I received a haunted item with a coordinates, like I said, I can't show you guys the, the orange envelope because there's this, let me just tell you, this is a bunch of cuss words all over. And I can't show you the envelope without get, get, getting demonetized. So I'm not going to show you the envelope. There is a coordinate inside. So we're going to go ahead and follow that coordinate. Without further ado, I mean, if you guys are ready, I'm ready. If you are new to this channel, subscribe to this channel if you are new. Smash the like button if you enjoy these type of videos. Uh, like I said, I'm freaked out. I don't know what to expect at all. Zero expectations. And I'm going all by myself. You know, I'll be the, I'll be the uh, lone survivor tonight, like always. Let's go. I'm gonna head to my car and uh, yeah, let's go. So fam, I just sat in my car. One hit music station. Uh, Wish me some luck. I am literally terrified. Uh, I've never had an address or a coordinate sent to me. To my actual house. That's freaking me out. But I want to put the camera down. I'm going to figure out where this uh, exact location is. And I'm going to drive there. Hopefully it's not that far. Hopefully we get some answers today. Don't get uh, too freaked out. Yeah. <sighs> my heart's beating out of my chest. I feel like some some bad's gonna happen, but I hope not. I pray to God nothing bad happens. Uh, yeah, stay tuned. Um, I don't know how to 
It's freaking me out. I don't know how to. I don't know. My thoughts are killing me. How'd you get my address, bro? I'll see you guys. So, guys, I made a pit stop. Grab me some iced coffee, which is cool. It's going to be a long night, adventurous night, and I'm super excited, super paranoid, and super scared. But let's see how this video turns out. I'll see you guys as soon as I get there. I will uh, pick up the camera. Um, things just got super, 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 super creepy. Uh, where I'm. I can't even speak where I'm at right now. I'm in Hollywood. And uh, according to my... My GPS, I'm here. But... This is it. This looks like an old church. What am I supposed to do now? Do I come outside? Look for something? Got these lights are flickering, hella creepy. And there's like this little... Alright, let's get out the car and see what's going on. I do have the uh, picture with me. Like a residential area. All right, let's go check this place out. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be looking for. The Metropolitan Community Church. I don't want to use the word creepy, but this place is definitely kind of weird. Move to church. You imagine it being it open. I'm kind of confused. I don't know what I'm looking for. But it is a massive church. Here's more information about this place. I just heard a scream. Yo. What's this side? This side's even creepier. What do I do, guys? What do I look for? Do I look for something? Do I look for clues? This is where the, this is where the coordinates slash address brought me to. Unless I came to the wrong place. 11 children, 12 children, 11 children, three adults. Was the, was the picture. Let's go check out the other side. Metro. Community, community church. Yeah, what is that? Hmm. Do I touch that? Yo, there's something in there. Yo, there's something in there. That. 
do I touch that? It felt kind of heavy in there. Ooh, something's heavy in there. What is that? Yo! There's another... Yo! There's... that a cop? I'm gonna put the camera down. Well, that was a cop that passed by. But I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm on, like, public sidewalk. I'm not trespassing or anything, but now I'm really curious what's inside. Y'all see the piece of paper inside? Or am I tripping? What is that? There's some metal in there, for sure. Yo! So what do I do? There's an ambulance. Ambulance, ambulance. Why did I say ambulance? There's an ambulance. Cop pass by, ambulance pass by, sirens. <coughs> sirens on. Scared the living crap out of me. I don't know. What is going on? It's like another another cop car speeding by, sped by. Like that, right there, going so super fast. Uh, another fire truck is coming by. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab that piece of paper and grab that key. What do you guys think? Should I? Sorry about the commotion. I have no idea what's going on. I hope everything is fine. Uh, but I can't believe I missed that. Yeah, the funny thing is, when I got out, after I saw this place, I took a quick B-roll, just to make it creepy. I wonder if that's in that frame, because I didn't see it when I came up here. Anyways. I'm gonna grab this. This is probably old, super old key. Rusted out. And this piece of paper. I have no idea what that says. Nothing else is in here. Alright. I'm putting this in my pocket, guys. By the way, I'm in sandals. Because I le legit came out to see where that address took me like I had no intentions of actually filming and doing a, a full-on full -on video now let's investigate this because I'm super 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 excited and super creeped out on this item So, there seems to be like a rusted down key. This key looks like it's from medieval times. And it's like real rust, it's not like fake rust, because if it was fake rust, you would see it all over the paper. Now, what is this? I just saw somebody walk by. I swear to God, I just saw somebody walk by. Oh my God. Am I tripping? Where am I tripping? What? I'm gonna have to leave here.
what in the actual hell is going on here? So I brought the picture with me. Uh, and there seems to be another coordinate with a key. That's like from medieval times. What do I do? I honestly don't know what to do, but <clears throat> I can promise you this. I don't want to go there alone, that's for sure. I'm definitely not going to go there alone. This might be a setup. Mm. How about this? Um, how about I call one of my friends. What do I have to tell him? What do I tell him? Someone send me a scary haunted picture to my house with a coordinates and I followed it and it brought me here and it gave me another coordinates. No one's gonna wanna come. Guys, like for part two. If you wanna see a part two, I'll grab one of my friends and we'll go. I'm like shook, shocked, I don't, I don't know what I am. Cause this is very interesting to me. Cause in the back of my mind, it's either a setup or a stupid funny joke. But none of my YouTube friends know where I live. I mean, a couple of them do, but they don't do like haunted content. So I'm very confused. But I can tell you, we discovered Another coordinates with a key that might be for this church. I don't know. I'm gonna go home, rethink, retake all my steps I took, put the coordinates in, see where it actually is before I go anywhere. Cause I don't like this feeling. I don't like where this is headed to. Uh with that being said, oh my god. Oh, this is the person. All in black. All in our black too, anyways. Uh, if you want a part two, smash the like button. I'll go back. Uh, anyways, uh, if you did enjoy this video, smash the like button. Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm kind of out of, out of it right now because I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't know what... I just don't like when people know my house address. That's what's throwing me off. Anyways, I'm going to go do some more research. Like for part two. I'll see you guys soon.